Steve Presley's here as well. Is he still the Fleetwood manager? Used to be Coventry. Steve's looking at me blankly, but I can assure you he's here. <laughs> uh, we are underway. Telford taking on Kidderminster. Kidderminster kicking us off in this game live from the Buck's Head here on BBC Radio Swapshire. Cecil in, get comfortable. Hopefully we can bring you an exciting game this evening and a good one from Telford's point of view. They're playing in their white shirts, navy blue shorts and navy blue socks and they have an early throw down their left-hand side. Headed on by Campion. Wilson with a square pass out to the right-hand side back to Haven. With his hair tied back in the ponytail. Hurst breaks off down this right hand side and he keeps it in play came off the defender out it goes for a corner decent start from Telford wow, Telford have had this season superb for a midweek game Campion then left footed in swinger far post punched clear by Sam Hornby and it will be kept in by Williams for Telford on the far side injected back in and the good catch by Hornby an interesting touch of observation. James Hurst, as we thought, definitely starting on this right-hand side, but I expect him and Evans will switch as the game goes on. Gunoa now down the left, though, linking up with Francis Angol. Cross into the box, and the clearance isn't perfect. It's skied by Haven, and uh, Hurst gets tangled the league interest during uh, the summer. And uh, the free kick is taken. It's just lofted in. Nearly dropped for... Keith Flow, defensive record, came on. only conceded five goals. Telford have the second best defensive record, but also the second worst goals for record. So you can see where the problems have been. But he opens up for Hurst here, who shoots left footed. It was on his weaker foot, running back in the wrong direction. And now the counter attack is on for Kidderminster here. Nil nil. We've had 16 minutes gone, and they've got players forward as well. The cross is deep and nearly landed towards the post the defense so both sides with a 4-3-3 but playing completely different styles it's fascinating to watch but take this free kick quickly and somehow they've allowed far too much room surely there for Guntola and the cross in from that right hand side over the head of Deer Saray this Telford side but possession wise I'd say last 10 minutes Kidderminster must have had 75% of the ball Telford struggling to keep hold of it well a long the Kidderminster box here for Telford working onto his right foot shoots oh he scores Micah Evans with a very special goal and he just stands and takes the applause of the fans around us who get up to their feet but he somehow worked it from his left foot onto his right and then picked his spot and Telford as they did against Halifax on Saturday have taken the lead here against Kidderminster a very special goal from Micah Evans he's high down there right here and it will be left for Diasaray caught by the keeper Montgomery straight into his hands and it's over there from Gonoa. Even teams like Eastley, who you wouldn't really regard as big clubs, are spending lots of money. Here's a shot from outside the area again, Enguatala. Football now is just so competitive, so much more competitive than it used to be. Free kicks taken short, it's out to the right-hand side. Williams back to Wilson, went for placement, blocked there. Sliding challenge by Ashley Carter. Now the counter-attack is on and they've got two players sprinting down the middle. Lovely challenge by Campion though, had to get it right there against Tyrell Waite in there defence. It's gone like a dream for Telford so far though hasn't it because you know you're going to concede lots of possession. But Kidderminster attacking here now and an opportunity with the number 10 Enguatala but he's overrunning it here and he still has the ball lays it off to his right and he gets uh, some applause from the Harriers fans header from Crowsdale just dips over from Wilson. now suddenly Telford have an attack on here and then he got the ball stuck under his feet and Keith Lowe was allowed to get back in but Wilson was past him good time and it's He's given Telford something to hang on to and at the moment you've got to say they're hanging on reasonably comfortably I hope that's not the commentator's curse though Steve across here for Kidderminster straight into the arms whipped in there by Crowsdale Times. by Hurst Kidderminster have it on the edge of the area Shot is blocked by Bailey, and then the effort from Gunoa is uh, deflected behind by Samuels. By Arthur Gunoa. Drilled in, headed down. 
downwards. Saved by Montgomery at his near post. It's a real melee in there, and the Telford players have gone running up to the referee. To give the free kick when the corner eventually came in. Half time, and a good reception from the home supporters here. Excellent first half from Telford, who are leading 1 0 against Kidderminster Harriers. Larry Chambers and Rob Smith will be pleased and uh, they are next to each other walking off so uh, Trust Love coming on and Carter going off for Kidderminster Telford kicking from our right to left in this second half Bailey and Haven shot from distance here by uh, Gittings is uh, over the vast Trust Love oh slotted it lovely ball and it somehow misses the striker who is slightly late with his run. Ball was going to find its way through to him. Well, now at the other end, the simple ball long forward and nearly very similar. Evans was through. Kidderminster on the charge down the right. And now Wait gets across in and again. It's deep to the feet of Wilson. Turns now. Mop of hair flowing behind him. Out to Evans, left edge of the penalty area. The blonde-headed Williams. There's a Cruyff turn, and then his shots deflected, and the keeper just about keeps it in. Inside, Kidderminster keep it in. Edge of the area, Francis Engal hooks it in. Now Campion watches it over his shoulder, but there is a Kidderminster man there as well. Tyro Williams peels of handball, but uh, that was never going to be given. And Telford get it clear up to Wilson. Passes it back to Montgomery. It's okay. Didn't look a, a great pass. Keep it better. Yeah. We'll just break off. We'll come back to that point in a second. Genoa to the right back. Crossed in. Caught by Montgomery. Whip this in left footed. Oh, he's got far too much on that, surely. They might be running out of ideas. A few misplaced passes we've seen. The ball being given away needlessly. And. That can only be a good thing from Telford's point of view. The change. Hurst goes off. And Reynolds comes on. Four minutes gone. Ball into the midfield. Royal, good covery there. I'm not sure where Haven and Bailey were. Shot saved. Then the offside flag goes up. And it will not stand from Truslow. Well, I think you've got to ask a few questions of your two centre-halves there, both Haven and Bailey, for initially losing sight of where the ball had gone. They just and that's exactly what Hibbert will, will bring to the party here. So I think this is a very, very good move by Rob Smith. Yeah, he's made for this situation, isn't he, Dave Hibbert? I, I would expect... Now room here for Wilson. Wilson's in. He's got an opportunity. He's been chased by two Kidderminster players. He takes it out wide. Hibbert's waiting for it. He'll do well to get a corner. He gets muscled off the ball by Crowsdale. And Crowsdale keeps it in play. It's good defending by Crowsdale. It's up to Truslove. Passes it down the line. Bailey's caught out of position. Deirsa Ray's across. Haven. Oh, lovely challenge from Haven. Excellent play from Luca Haven. It has worked a real treat. Now a chance on this near side. Into the D. Wait. Bounces off and Goa. And a tackle by Gittings. And again by Gittings. Advantage played. Shot from outside the area. Which was a bit of a daisy cutter, that one. Stopped. Another shot deflected on its way through. He will end up getting uh, Steve Fumble's nomination. It's Callum Gittings who goes off for Lucas Dawson. But I think he's been very good this evening, Callum Gittings. Sign when you have the opposition supporters applauding the former player. Telford somehow got the ball into the area, and Wilson's shot on the half volley brought out a very good save. A spectacular one, really, from Hornby, who was, and, well, was in the air when he saved it, both feet off the ground, and uh, had to get his whole body behind it because it was struck fiercely. The cross is floated in. Key flow heads it back into a dangerous area for number five. A couple of players down in a heap and they get back up on their feet. And who else is coming on? Double one, so off goes Tyrell Waite. 
and uh, in his place is Andre Brown. This is his strength. Now here's Dawson. Dawson on Madi. Has work to do. Strikes it well. A skimmer from Dawson. Just evades the left hand post. By Reynolds. Gets his team a corner. Taken straight away. Wilson crosses it in. Nearly comes off a defender. Oh, Kidderminster were sixes and sevens there in defence. Here they come again on the left-hand side this time. Oh, it's a good run, this. Good run by Brown. On to the D. Still going. Oh, it's a foul by Bailey. It looked like he won the ball, but it's a free kick in the D. A free kick in the D then. Telford leading, but this is a really good chance. Hit. Well, Steve, what did he say? They had to hit it hard and low. That's by Campion, and it's inviting pressure on. It's in over the top. The flag stays down. Andre Brown at the dead ball line. Slips at the wrong moment, but gets back on his feet. Drops it back in here to the fullback. Williams crossed in. And Telford Sean Williams gets it clear, but... Well, that was a chance, surely, Steve. Kidderminster have wasted a big opportunity there. Yeah, Telford just creating some of their own problems here, though, aren't they? Giving the ball Low away. Low injects it in now. Edge of the area. Dias Array tackled by Bailey. Back out to low again. Williams for Kidderminster on this right-hand side. Into the feet of Genoa. And Campion gets goal side. Is he fouled? No. It's back to Williams. Into the box. And away by Bailey. It's Alford just losing a bit of focus here. Into the D again, Trussloff, whose goal after 65 minutes was deemed offside. Still inside the area. Peels of handball, waved away by the referee and cleared by Campion. Up to Hibbert, we've got three minutes to go. Hibbert holds the ball up, he's looking for support. Does he get a free kick? No, he doesn't. And now here come Kidderminster now, looking for an equaliser. Telford holding on, but the pressure is building. Good sliding challenge from Campion. But Royal loses it in midfield now to the left edge of the area. Flag stays down, shots in and saved by Montgomery. Wow. To Tyrone Williams as well. I don't know about Telford, might get a second, Nick. I would be astonished if this ball moves more than about five yards from where it is at the moment. <laughs> I'm sure they will just look to keep the ball in the corner. I'm not really sure why we're still playing. 96 minutes nearly on my stopwatch, but this ball will just stay in the corner. Dawson and Wilson over it. And that's exactly what they do. Wilson still has it here. And there we go. Big win. Massive win for AFC Telford United. They've beaten their local rivals, Kidderminster Harriers, by one goal to nil. Only Kidderminster's second defeat of the season. They were fourth before tonight's game. Telford will climb up a few places. Their second win of the season. And uh, that must be the best we have seen them all round tonight. Defensive, defensively, as we know, a very, very strong. Again, didn't create a lot of chances, but it wasn't that kind of game.